guys, Jeannie here and welcome back to my channel and it is semi-annual season. So June 10th is the starting date of the Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale. So this sale happens twice a year. You can see this sale in December and then it also rolls around in June. But this sale is different from Candle Day, which is the Saturday after Thanksgiving. So there are three major sales that go on in Bath and Body Works, the semi-annuals and Candle Day. So I'm just gonna run through some tips on how you can have a successful Bath and Body Works semi-annual trip and how you can save a little bit of money. So like I've already mentioned, um, this sale happens twice a year. So this is the stock up time for tons of things. Um, you're gonna find prices up to 75% off. So now is your time to, you know, stock up on your shower gels, your um, lotions, your hand sanitizers, all sorts of stuff. So if you know someone who is crazy over Bath and Body Works, this would be the time to get their Christmas present. It is never too early to shop for Christmas, never too early. You also wanna sign up for the Bath and Body Works emails and you also wanna download their app. So if you um, are in a state that has the Bath and Body Works app, make sure you download it because you're gonna earn rewards on your purchases. That's where you're gonna find your coupons in your wallet on your Bath and Body Works app. Um, and you're also gonna earn points and the points turn into free products. So the Bath and Body Works app is amazing. I don't know why they don't have it in all 50 states because I feel like it's a teaser to you guys out there who do not have the Bath and Body Works app. I, I, I'm, I'm angry for you if you do not have that app. I don't think it's fair. If you're gonna have it in a certain state, you should have it in all states because it's just, it's not fair. So Bath and Body Works, just release it to all 50 states because most of America is Bath and Body Works crazy. So they really should just open it up to everyone. Um, and you wanna sign up for the emails. So um, just go to Bath and Body Works, enter your email, and then you're gonna get um, the coupons sent to you because there are some stores that are telling you you can no longer redeem coupons through Retail Me Not for whatever reason like they're asking for your email. So I don't know why they don't wanna go through Retail Me Not. I haven't you know, researched why they do it. <laughs> but um, some stores may tell you, hey, you can't use Retail Me Not anymore. So that's why you wanna sign up for the Bath & Body Works emails because they're gonna send you the coupons. Also go in store right now, they're handing out the 10 off 30 coupons for when the semi-annual starts. So make sure you have those paper coupons. Um, so speaking of coupons, Bath & Body Works is great when it comes to breaking up your transactions. So say you have, I don't know, $120 worth of stuff. If you have four of those 10 off 30 coupons, you can save $40. So all you need to do is break up your transactions into four and they are really great at breaking up transactions. I have never had an issue at any Bath & Body Works I've ever been to when it came to, hey, can I break up my transactions? I've never had an employee tell me, no, you cannot do that. Bath & Body Works also is good at price adjusting. So if you go to the store the first day of the sale and then the same candle is $5 less at the end of the sale, then you can get that price adjustment and you can get that $5 um, credited to you. So if you see something go less, don't hesitate to price adjust. So something else you can do is candle swapping. So maybe you went a little overboard when it came to candle day in December and maybe you have, I don't know, three tis the season candles still in your cupboard that you never burned, you could just swap them out and get a summer scent. So maybe you're, you know, feeling more green apple. You can go ahead and just switch your tis the season for the green apple and you can just go ahead and do an even exchange. So don't skip on candle swapping and all you need to do is tell them, hey, I just want to swap a candle out. Just tell them the truth. Just say, hey, I bought way too much in December and uh, I don't want my house smelling like uh, Santa's workshop. I'd rather have it smell like um, green apples and that's that's okay. I do that all the time, by the way. So when it comes to your coupons, you can coupon stack. So if you have a dollar off coupon, so say it's like a 10 off 30 coupon, but you have a free purchase coupon, say you get a free item when you purchase, I don't know, $10. You can use both of those. So you can get your free item and save $10, so that's great. You can also use expired coupons. So even if you have some coupons that are expired from another date, some Bath & Body Works will take it. So just keep that in mind. But I haven't ever asked if they accept Yankee Candle coupons. Coffee break real quick. I would be interested to see if they honor Yankee Candle coupons. I've never asked, 
but I'm going to because I want to let you guys know if they accept Yankee Candle coupons. That's an idea. They also have free gift wrapping. So every candle or anything that you buy, they have these cellophane bags and it also comes with a little ribbon. So they're not going to offer it to you. You have to ask them, but even so, get your free bags. So now is the time to cash in your Ibotta. If you do not know what Ibotta is, it is a cashback um, rebate app. So say this is, I don't know, say this is um, milk. So you purchase milk, you go into your Ibotta app and there is a 25 cent cashback on milk. So when you submit your receipt for your milk, then you get 25 cents in your app and you can send um, your cash to your PayPal, I, Venmo. I think you could send it to your bank account or you can get gift cards. So they have Bath and Body Works gift cards that you can cash in. So maybe you have a lot sitting in your Ibotta account and you just want to cash out for Bath and Body Works. Now would be a good time to do it. They also, you can also send it to PayPal, but when you are shopping online on Bath and Body Works, I try not to shop online because you can only do one coupon code um, for your order. So if you're trying to get free shipping, you can't use a 10 off 30 and a free shipping. I don't know why they don't do this, but they really should, but you can't combine coupon codes. So you're end you'll end up paying more if you shop online, even if you're paying through PayPal, which if you didn't know, you can pay through PayPal through Bath and Body Works, but, um, I would urge you not to shop online for the Bath and Body Works sale because you're gonna end up paying more. Um, you definitely wanna also um, trigger your Ebates because Ebates um, will have cash back. They should have cash back. They always have cash back when it comes to Bath and Body Works. It may be small 1%, but you should always be, uh, anytime you're shopping online, you should always activate your Ebates because that also adds up as the months go by and then you get your check and you're like, oh, cool. Something else you might wanna do is just call ahead and ask your store what time they're gonna open. So again, um, June 10th is the start of the Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale. So you wanna make sure you call ahead. So you need to know what time you need to get in line. And um, you know, if you're someone who's going in there and you're gonna have a lot of purchases, maybe bring your own like reusable tote. So in case they run out of those like blue bags, just bring your own and then you would have your own tote. 